Good morning, it's August the 12th, 2023, and this is the Wall Street Weekly Wrap-Up with your host, John Newquist. Again, a nod of earnings reports were out today, and we're going to start with some of the ones that I thought were pretty interesting. Tyson Food misses, misses on revenue, and the stock dropped a lot, you can see at the beginning of the week. It came back to bounce back, but you know, this is a big negative trend and not good for the... Uh, uh, meat processor. Lysi, we added to the portfolio. They recycle titanium. They got a place in Germany that's going to go up. And again, a chart is good. You know, the 250 uh, day crossovers are good. And that's a sign that we like to say the selling is done. Um, it should do well. But, you know, this is a, you know, a, a startup. It's only a couple years old. And uh, we bought it when we uh, first saw it, and then we got out of it when we took a, like a 10% loss. But uh, I've been watching it because, you know, lithium is going to be an issue. It's going to go up with the price of uh, the cars. More EVs are going to be bought every year, so we need more lithium. So I think it's uh, one to watch. You know, we got a tight stop on it. If it gets down to 450, then we're getting out of it. And the stats of the week, uh, natural gas actually hit up about $3.00. And, uh, you know, gold and the metals are out there. Everybody's watching copper because it's below four. And that means if it's below four, that the economic worldwide, uh, uh, you know, start that, that we're going to see uh, sales going up all across the world is slow. You know, manufacturing will be slower. But uh, heating oil, I just look at this chart. I mean, it's been going down and then just like oil, kind of going up. And we're up pretty high. So uh, it's something to watch. Uh, could be an ugly winter if fuel prices are up. Some analysts are calling for $100 oil. Could it happen? I don't know. We're at $83. You know, two months ago we we're at 60 some. So, you know, it's uh, production picks up across China and a couple other places. It's going to be maybe you know weaker. And then of course uh, the Nasdaq. We've you know we've gone down 7% since the peak here. And we I just show the Q's, the Nasdaq uh, QQQ index, and it's just going down. I mean, almost nine straight days. I mean, it's you know down a little bit, and people are getting nervous because this is the line they're watching. If this breaks down, you're going to start to see a lot of tech get sold. And you know we'll keep our solid uh, Amazon and Meta and Nvidia and Microsoft, but a lot of the other stuff can go. You know we're always going to be overweight. Those those companies make billions of dollars, and they make revenue and they're growing. That's the big deal. Apple not growing. Apple three quarters in a row losing revenue. Fluence we sold, uh, missed. I was stunned by the loss, and I was not expecting a loss of twenty cents per share. So something is going on, and you know you're you're doing work with utilities. You're 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 doing a storage for them. You know yes, your revenues are running, but when you double your revenues, you shouldn't be losing money. So what I'm thinking is they maybe they're selling out super cheap to take a loss, which is the stupidest idea in a company because you're there to make a money. You're not there to lose money and gain, you know, revenue. You know, that makes no sense. If I double my money and my salary, I'm not going to lose money. So I don't look at companies that do that as a good investment. Olaplex, uh, we had it a long time ago. And, uh, you know, we've watched it. Look at this, you know, 200-day moving average just coming down. It's dropped. It missed the uh, revenues. And the big thing. 48% drop, and uh, like the heater said, you go in there, it's expensive. Just like Costco said, they're not buying the steaks as much, they're buying more chicken. People are starting to say, okay, I can cut back. The Olapex product is, is out there. What I was surprised at, if you cut somebody's revenue 48%, you should not be profitable. You know, you would think you would sit there and not make money. So I, I like a company that, that can do it. Maybe repricing is going to be on the future and maybe they'll do better in the Christmas holiday but we got to get the the 50 day above this number and so when that happens is a time that we want to go in there I mean you know you want to say well it's super cheap here hell it could be down super cheap at 50 cents too so we don't want to be in that situation and Nvidia you know another one you know remember the techs just following the cute Nvidia is a big player you know it's one of the top 10 largest market cap companies in the world and guess what when it goes down it's going to affect the queues it's going to affect a lot of people and it's down you know four hundred eighty dollars and we're already down so you know they've come out with a lot of new th uh, uh, chips you know the the safe you know call it the uh, um, 
showcase day they had this week. New Grace Hopper platform and, uh, you know, Omniverse release with generative AI, the new GPU chip for the games are out there. So everybody's watching it, you know. There's a lot of pressure on the video, but, you know, we're already uh, dropping pretty fast. And, you know, could it get down maybe around here? I don't know, $300 level? Hey, when they sell, they sell, you know. People take their loss, get out of it. So, you know, what I would I buy? Well, you know, I, I like the $300 level if you're going to nibble back in there. But I don't know if it'll get down there. You know, a lot of people are saying, can it hold this blue channel? And if it does, then, you know, it might nibble there. Conoco Phillips or Oils Exxon and Conoco, uh, solid uptrend, oil's high. They're making billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. These oil companies are pumping furiously. The Saudis have cut back, so guess what? They get to sell everything they pump, and they're making a fortune. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's bumping on the upper end of the channel. Uh, what everybody would like to see is slow growth in oil. Now, I sure don't want to be paying a lot of money for gasoline, but this is uh, the, the irony of owning oil stocks. You make money when the prices are higher. And gasoline, I just had to put it, it's the highest in a year. It's down compared to what it was um, two years ago when we got up, you know, 450 a gallon for a lot of people. But it is high. It, you know, when you're looking at charts, it broke up to a new year high. So it's at a 52-week high, and that's not a good sign, you know. So we may see a lot more. And Ford, I just bring it up because it hit the lowest level in months. And there were a lot of people, a lot of investment funds, a lot of people talking about buying Ford here, and now you're down over here, and that's not good. I mean, just the recalls are killing Ford. I mean, you know, I remember quality is job one. Well, apparently uh, something's falling through the side on Ford, and uh, that's not good. It's still in the up channel. Heck of an up channel, slow grinding up channel. So if you want to buy it, you know, this is not a bad spot, and if it breaks down over here, you just get out of it. The CPI went up to 3.2. You know, a lot of people didn't get excited uh, that it was up here, but you know, when you look at it, it's you know, it's pretty small. And uh, I think you know, like I said, everybody wants 2% inflation. I think three is okay. You know, I'm not going to get excited about three. Um, you know, when you take out the uh, you know rent and everything else, then all of a sudden you know it's pretty low in general. And you know, we uh, sold you know Generac, AMD, Influence. Uh, in the last two weeks, and then uh, we're going to buy Rivian and XLU, which is a utility index. I just showed the socks, just like Nvidia. You know, when you know, so goes Nvidia, so goes the socks. Uh, we're out of it. You know, only semiconductor we got is is Nvidia, and it's going to be ugly. And this is the chart everybody's watching. If they break down below this, then there's going to be exits in the semiconductors, including Nvidia. And uh, right now is not a time to buy semiconductors again. The socks at 400. This is the number a lot of people are using. You know, we drop another 20%. It's time to nibble back into the semiconductors, and we'll look at the prices and the charts then. Otherwise, have a good week. Stay cool, and I'll see you next week.